and welcome to the bot box. Some bots on fist guns do not strike terror into anyone's hearts. Terrapin, a green, yellow and brown dome shaped robot armed with a pneumatic spike puncher in the form of a turtle head was one. It was designed, of course, to look like a turtle. Had a moving shell, the dome outer armour could move up and down. And apparently a whoopee cushion somewhere in the robot. May and it made its debut in series three of Robot Wars, landing in Heat Eye, where they first drew Lifter and Spikebot vs Getterix. Terrapin just missed hitting Racing Getterix early on. Racing Getterix's response was to pick Terrapin up and push it towards Sergeant Bash. But after Racing Getterix was hit by an arena spike and pushed around by Sergeant Bash, Terrapin got free. Terrapin pushed Racing Getterix briefly but ended up getting close to the pit, which is bad, and Matilda, which is worse. Terrapin then got free, pushed Racing Getterix into Shunt. And then the pit. Terrapin nearly went in, in two, but got through to the next round. Next up for them was a lifter bot and spinning disc wielder, Invertebrat, where it was revealed that Terrapin had an evil laugh. Oh dear, this is bad. A pushing war ensued as soon as Terrapin and Invertebrat met, the one that went to and fro before secured the house robot split them up. The two traded blows before Invertebrat lifted Terrapin but was close enough to dead metal for a single blow from the house robot to separate the two. Terrapin got free before Invertebrat did. Once Invertebrat got free, dead metal burst and ended up in the pit. Meanwhile, Invertebrat and Terrapin traded more blows. As time ran out and the judges were called in, Terrapin barely escaped spikes and ended up close to a house robot. The judges ruled in favour of Invertebrat. Terrapin did not return. Terrapin was in a bot that he didn't have bat he, he that or whilst it wasn't the worst heat Terrapin could have had. It w it could have it couldn't have prob well it probably wouldn't have made it past the heat final. It was in the same heat as Beast of Bobmin, whose previous robot robot had won the tournament. So likely they wouldn't have got much further. And if they'd drawn Beast of Bobbin instead, they likely wouldn't have got through. Onslaught, I don't know the, the, um, how it would have fared against. Onslaught being the other robot to go out in the heat semi-finals in that heat. But, it's an interesting robot. And it did get nominated for Best Design. Lost out to Razor. But, how far it would have gone in competition would have been very very draw dependent. Who's went over facing Getterix though? So, who's next? It's Taiki. Please be kind. Do that twice. Drop the first thing. What? 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 Ming. Okay. Until next stitch, class in two four four. Out.